back to our Total War Three Kingdoms, or first ever Total War Three Kingdoms campaign, playing as the Warlord Sao Sao. And we recently won a couple battles against the Han Empire, and we control this tiny bit of territory here. Oh yeah, this map is huge. So we next, our next target's probably gonna be this guy. There's an army over here led by a guy named um, Shen Yu. Let's see, records. Okay, treasury. We're making somewhat decent money. Imperial intrigue. We're not there yet. So what missions do we do we have? Construct or upgrade a building. I believe I was planning to do that. For China! Already, a commandery yes. consists of a capital and its surrounding counties. The capital is the center of administration, and the counties make use of the local resources. Okay. I can't really build anything at the moment. Public order is starting to go down a little, but that's just because we we're at war right now. Okay, so there's also like these yellow turbans that are still around. Keep my eye on. Okay, so Yuan Shao is up there. And we have very friendly relations with him. Dong Zhou is all the way over here. At Chang'an, the capital. So our next target is probably going to be over here. Okay, just get out. There we go. I want to see if I can get like trade in terms of diplomacy. Diplomacy provides you with more tools to help further your cause when dealing with other factions. Okay. We are at war with three factions: the Yell Turbans, the Han Empire, and Dong Zhou. And Dong, but Dong Zhou is at war with like many different factions. We so negotiate trade. Okay, so like the trade here is like kind of just like Troy, where you know you have simple barter. So I don't think we need any of that as of the moment. We have enough resources. I do want to check this though, our court. A warlord must be skilled in politics if their faction is to thrive. Maintain stability amongst your generals and court nobles by keeping them satisfied. Or banishing dissenters that threaten your rule. So over here, I have an unassigned position. Yeah, Cal Ren. We we'll just put him. So let's see. How loyal is he? Is there like a? Okay, I don't need that. Alright. Confirm that. We don't have any of these other positions yet. Our faction heir is Cal P. Let's see, this is this is our family tree, so we have Okay. Alright. Get out of here. Let's just end our first turn. I believe this is the first turn we may have ended. Mission success. Alright. Mission issued. An army is called and Sao Sao looks to lead. Word of your efforts has spread. There are now many who admire you, your ambition, believing you to be the one who 
who with the strength and drive to reunite China and they're willing to put their faith in your leadership and offer their talents in your service. It's time for you to start recruiting warriors for the long battle ahead. So we need 12 units, so just two more units. Loyal followers, family members, and others without a post will take seats in your courts. These court nobles may have abilities that make them good candidates for promotion as administrators or ministers. Okay, so China's vastness is matched only by the exemplars of wisdom and might that traverse it. The following individuals of note are currently visiting our lands. Okay. And we have to... Sima Zhu. He's an outsider. He's three. He does have decent expertise. Someone lacking in resolve. Okay. Look at this guy. Four. Those that serve your cause gain experience over time. Encourage this growth and guide their development to your advantage. Okay, this guy is just a two, so maybe not the best. Two, he's just a farmer. He's a four farmer, though. Okay, this guy might. We will consider this guy. Ping Dang. Xiao Ru is a decent warrior. Manipulator. So she's a strategist. It's the Simaju commander. He's this guy's a vanguard warrior. I believe so. This is a legendary vanguard. I might just take Xiao Ru. Your family is the base of your power. Take care of your generals by guiding their progression. What are you supposed to do? Like, oh, well, whatever. I'm sure it won't do anything. Okay, construction complete. New capital has been established. This is one of your armies, used to attack enemy armies, conquer settlements, and defend your own territories. Guide them well, and China will be yours. Should I get another general? Okay, this guy, he is not too friendly. I'm not really going to get a new general, because we do need Kao Ren as chancellor. Although, I'm not sure. Okay, let's just recruit units here. Okay, there's a number of different units we can recruit. So, we can get these spears. I do want some more archers. Or cr archers are better than crossbowmen. And then, another unit for my other general. I do have enough swords already, I feel like. Three swords and maybe...
tiger and leopard calf. So these are medium spear, light sword. Where's like the heavy calf? I got these this infantry unit. So once this turn is over, we will we'll, we'll be done. I'll march against this army here. How garrisoned is this? Probably not too garrisoned. These guys are neutral to us. They're f okay. They have good public order. Do you want to take out the Han though, and then finish the yellow turbans? Unknown. Yo. Let's just recruit, and then we'll probably fight a battle out here against this army. Let's see what they do. They're not gonna do anything yet. Growing might. Hold three settlements. An adept recruiter, young administrator by the name of Yue Lin Jin has gone above and beyond the requirements of his station unprompted and has recruited a thousand fresh troops from his home to join your cause. We'll elevate him. So what does that mean? Oh dang. Or I could attack this yellow turban settlement. But I do want to finish off this army. A strange whim. Your faction not only consists of settlements and armies, but your We have engaged the enemy in battle. Now it is up to you to command your forces and destroy our foes. Alright. Predict a decisive victory. They have they have a decent amount of archers. We have cav. That we can easily chase them down. Simple strategy, perfectly executed. That is victory. Some trees flourish. Others. All right, so let's deploy our army. Get our swords. Spears. Put them here. Line them up here. Wonder why this unit is like a lot smaller than the others. Maybe because I didn't have the chance to like you know recruit it as much. They don't even have helmets. These are very light infantry anyway. This is all we can afford to do. Have the spears. I want to have the spears kind of like lined up in the front. And then my Make ready. archers, of course, over here, because they have a really long range in the first place anyway. Put my cav on the flanks, as usual. Ready. And my generals, of course, Prepare. on either Stand side. Ready. We are outnumbered by a little bit, but I think we'll be okay. 
see their army. This is their main force. They have a lot of archers. They have a lot more archers than we do. We have, they have, um, let's see here. Okay, medium infantry, medium spearmen. And their general is just their general, I believe, yeah. Yeah, they don't have any cav other than this, this guy. Start marching. Trying to kill our general here. Quick march! Steal yourselves! Hurry! Double time! Ready to ride! Steal yourselves! Hurry! Double time! Ready! And they're ready! Oh, they have more units than we thought. Move to the flank out here. I'll flank them. I want to kill these archers off. Stand ready. Look, the enemy run, Craven. The time has come to battle. Make ready. Do not relent. Do not relent. The stamina of your soldiers is not without limits, as you. Yeah. Take my one warrior, let's charge right into the flank here. Our victory goes ever one man tank. Go! 
repair. Look the enemy run. Great. Deal yourself. Show no mercy. Let's see here. Can we do this? Charge down the enemy general. Though we can technically claim victory already. Decisive victory. My ambition victory is, is coming yours. To fruition. And the fate of those you have captured in battle. Should I employ him? There's nothing of value to steal, yeah. I'm not gonna kill him. Yeah, cause I have to pay him like a 250 base salary. Huh? May I'm they remember my mercy. This place is ours now. Credibility increases. Mission issued, my lord. The generals under your command are talented individuals, each with an array of skills they can put to use in improving your realm. In each commandery, they can be sent on assignments to oversee and improve the infrastructure of both military and civic of your lands. Each character has different qualities to bring to these endeavors, so inspect your options carefully. Lasting peace in China cannot be achieved without military conquest. Expansion of territories is vital to secure the power needed to return justice to the land. This is a big city then, a capital. But maybe first I'm gonna finish off some of these yellow turbans up over here. Small settlement. Only feeble wills seek compromise. Buildings improve various aspects of your faction, making development of your settlements vital. You can construct one building at a time in each commandery. So if Upgrade. nothing is being built, you are missing an opportunity for development. See Chen over here. Settlement Chen. Okay, I'm already upgrading that. Okay, I already have like maximum construction limit I here. will rid China of strife. It's gonna make me lose some money though. Missions 
From time to time, you will receive missions. Okay, okay. Alright. Credibility... Okay. Let's see here. Special rare weapons, armor, and horses can be taken from defeated enemies and will grant great advantages to their new owner as well as increasing their satisfaction. Replenishing right here is going to be a couple turns. What kind of other units can we recruit? You know, what, maybe we should just grow our economy first. Maybe pick off a couple small factions. I do want to march against these guys. Yellow turbans up here. Then we'll march south once we have you know more power, and then we can take Huainan. A big city over here. Our first major city. Just end the turn. Some things are better gained through trade. Trade agreement. We have finished here. Diplomacy in this game seems a lot more advanced than like other Total Wars. Okay, Kao Song has died. Word has reached you that your beloved father, Kao Song, has been ambushed and murdered by the vile town, Kian. There will be time for grieving later, but now you and your advisors are calling to act. Okay. Wait, what? My influence grows. So this was the guy that killed her father. We'll declare war on him later, but first we have some unfinished business. There are many intricacies to ruling, and a wise leader seeks counsel rather than allow pride to lead them into ignorance. If any aspect of your kingdom eludes you, you have only to ask for clarification. We must consider the bigger picture. Details, so so. times call for difficult choices. Let's see here. People are migrating here, but there is still more work to do. Alright. 
the strong prevail. So we're going to take this settlement here, then march north, maybe? Maybe just take this settlement. We'll be directly on the border with Tao Kian. I have another skill I can add? Oh, forgot to apply. To begin with, your Check. diplomatic dealings with other warlords will be limited. But as you grow in power, you will be taken more seriously, and more options will become open to you. Yeah, we'll declare war on this guy one day. The wise ruler doesn't just declare war. We need to finish off like our main enemies first. I will take this settlement first, but then let's see here. How garrison are these guys? If okay, not fifteen thousand. Did it show like the garrisons? No, I guess not. Rank gained. For reunification. True ambition is not to match the great deeds of the past, but to build upon them. Reforms create fresh practices, military tactics, philosophies, laws, and tools. Okay, so there are a number of reforms we can do here. Alright, so let's see what kind of buffs they have. Philosophy and Trade. Resettlement. Incentives. Currency based economy. Plus 15 income. Military markets. Minus construction cost. Okay, uh... Let's get population growth, because we are a pretty small faction right now. I have a request for you. Your acceptance gives us joy. Unmatched power, Dian Wei, known as a bastion of strength and loyalty. It is said that once a mighty banner was blowing over in the breeze, and ten men cannot hold it up. However, Dian Wei, using just one hand, held that banner upright, earning great fame. Some okay. terrain conceals armies and provides an opportunity to lay an ambush. A surprise attack can win half the battle before it begins. No two battles are the same. Remain flexible and consider which tactics and units are best suited to each. Okay, okay. Siege of Peng Cheng. Start the battle. 
Just fight this out. I see truth in our purpose, and so to victory. Our only option is victory. See it done. No, oh, this is a settlement. Take battle. time to consider your troops' deployment before ordering them to rush into combat. Okay, this is our first major. Plan your strategy for the. Okay. okay. Victory in battle is achieved by routing Advice. and destroying all enemies. Break the morale to seize Low. victory. Okay, so this is our first settlement battle. Let's see. The settlements are pretty nice in this game. Though we don't know where the enemy might show up. Settlement battles are usually harder than like field battles because you have to. We have archers. They have sword units. Which is fine. Let's see here. Let's deploy our our men. Let's get our. Get all of these guys. Form it up in a line. Okay. Let's see our archers. Our archers are going to be pretty important. Our cav is going to be, once again, a key element. But I want my cav to both be over here now. And have both of our main generals. Sao Sao will lead with the cavalry. While the other, his champion, Xia Hao Dun, commands infantry. Oh, they do have the, the towers that like shoot out. Oh, okay, they do. Oh, they do have like civilians in, in this game as well. Like, there's people like roaming around. Oh, the civilians are armed as well. This is pretty cool. Just like in Attila. Our comrade is under attack! Okay, let's see what kind of units. They have here. I want a couple of these units to the time has come. These three swords I want them to kind of move this way. But you can't really do in formation. Let's just charge into the yellow turbans. Winning one battle is not the same as winning. Stand ready! Alright, let's keep going. Start moving these guys into the city. All these guard towers are like doing serious damage. They do, they do serious damage. I've always wondered about them though. I do want to take this. Okay, th okay, maybe not because. Let's win this part of the battle first.
What is with the watchtowers? Never understood about the watchtowers. Wavering. Okay, they're, they're getting reinforced. They're taking a the flank here. It seems as if they're drawing most of their units away. It's a perfect chance to take that guard tower here. Oh shoot, they have archers. We need to this get here is fast. the administrative center of the settlement. If you can hold it for long enough, you will be These victorious. These archers are doing us these dealing serious damage. The archers are usually the most dangerous unit in this game. From the way it looks. Okay, okay. I'll get Sao Sao to finish off the archers. Actually, I'll have these guys charge here. Have these guys charge the flank over here. Sao Sao himself will just destroy the archers. Have this guy join in the fight over the here. Enemy run. Craven. Stand ready. Cavalry. To attention. Attack. Kill them. Enduring as the earth. Hurry. Move. Dude, the general is literally a living tank. Strike. Look how many men he's already killed. One step closer to victory. Make ready. Okay, some of my men are wavering. No Cavalry, attack! My cav have broken the the archers' morale. Let's go, so so. All right. Okay, we do need to bring in our men for support. Our infantry starting to waver. Okay, the yellow turban warrior captains are actually a decent unit. Look, the enemy run. Craven, attack! Bring Sousa back. Your troops morale is breaking. Our warriors run! Craven, don't! Tell them! Okay, take all of my men. This battle is taking more. Yeah, it's being a little more costly than it should be. The battle is won. Okay, we won though. You have proven your prowess as commander of your forces. Close victory. Could have gone better. These units, they do pretty good damage though. Lost a little more men than I wanted to though, but it's fine. It could end the enemy's no defenses have fallen. And now those that cower inside await. Yeah. Okay, now I think it's time to just let our units replenish. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. I want to recruit a couple more units to my force here. I want another cav, then another infantry unit. Swords are usually worse than spears.
yeah, get two more units. Okay, so we do have control of a good territory. I do want to finish off some of these, like, remaining yellow turban. This yellow turban up here. Up in the mountain pass over here. And then there's also, you know, the question of the Han down over here as well. People will move to your settlements as they develop. Okay. Why is there a pin on this? Dianwei, Court Noble. A person's destiny is revealed by the traits that emerge over the course of their life. These will be embodied as strengths and weaknesses that shape their actions. I think I got the gist of this by now. I don't need any more like advice. Hmm. None. Spy position available. Okay. Active spies. Should you Shao Ru? He's a warrior. Sima Zhu. This is where I'm going to end this episode for today and I'll see you in the next one.